Two of Utah's biggest health care providers are now working together on a clinical trial to possibly treat COVID-19. Fox 13's Brian Schnee explains what researchers hope to share with the rest of the country to curb the pandemic. Researchers plan to enroll over 2,000 people who have tested positive for COVID-19. The goal is to test for effectiveness and safety for two drugs and answer questions that are being asked every day. We heard the cry of distress from the community. We realize the urgency of the pandemic. With COVID-19, time is of the essence. Medical studies, which could normally take a year to launch, we're done in two weeks. We can be nimble, we can be rigorous, we can be fast, and we can provide access to these drugs. Researchers with Intermountain Healthcare and University of Utah Health working together to get answers. The aim of this study is to determine whether either of them have any effectiveness in preventing hospitalization in patients with positive testing for COVID-19. At Intermountain, both inpatient and outpatient studies are underway to test the effectiveness and overall impact of hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin. I think it's worth noting that these two medications are very, very commonly prescribed. And so we have a very good understanding of their safety profile. Doctors say they have enough medication in Utah for those that use them as prescribed for lupus, arthritis, and even malaria, but they also have enough for the trial. The goal of this trial is to make people better. We use the World Health Organization COVID outcome scale. At two weeks after randomization, we look to see our patients improving. And, and these are real improvements. Are they getting off life support are they getting off oxygen eligible patients are COVID-19 positive and over the age of 45 at University of Utah they're focusing on viral shedding of COVID-19 and its impacts on the household and how quickly we, ha we have answers depends a little bit on how quickly the Utah community participates in this study during this critical time for information these studies are being funded internally and the rest of the country is already noticing two health systems with a state government and a community coming together is something that is seen as extraordinary. The two hospitals will be reaching out to patients that may meet the criteria for these specific trials. The quickness of the results truly depends on how quickly we flatten the curve. In Salt Lake City, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.